Hey guys, <laughs> let's see who this person is that is in your energy, that's thinking about you guys, and who is quite possibly still very significant to you guys here. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjim.com. Let's see, Libra, who is this person? Who is this person that is significant to Libra? Who is this person? Could be Leo. Strength energy there. Um, this is significant because this is energy that's exterior to them. I feel like this person is needing the strength to change something that's not working for them. Okay, um, could be their ego, or it could just be like an apology, them not feeling um, full of themselves. Anything that's not been working for them that's kind of been getting in the way of the connection between the two of you. Stubbornness. Four of Cups here, Cancer Energy, Complacency. I feel like this person is, is not really showing you the emotions that you would like to see coming from them. Maybe you feel like they're a little boring even. They're not really opening up in a way that you feel like is genuine. <clears throat> Cancer Leo individual. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles there. You have two eights now. I feel like this is something that you have been struggling with, with this person. Um, getting to that next level, that emotional maturity that you're looking for, building with this person. I feel like this person really and truly wants to build with you, wants to work on something with you. I feel like they're struggling. They're, they're trying to work through their... Um, their own, um, what do you call it, <clears throat> their own weaknesses here. And maybe like really sharing themselves has been something that they have struggled with and that probably has gotten in the way of not only your relationship, but other connections or relationships that they've had before. And so I really do feel like this person is trying to work on themselves in this this case with you guys um, because I think they know their own weakness. They know what is getting in their way when it comes to you. <clears throat> then the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person definitely loves you. Um, I don't think that they're sure that you love them though. So you guys may kind of be feeling the same way about each other, um, unsure of how the other one feels, but I definitely get that they, they love you. They care for you deeply here. I also get that this person is healing from something. Could be something dealing with you guys or something that is exterior to the connection between you two. Okay. Then we have the Seven of Cups. They really don't know, I feel, um, how to engage with you. What it is that they truly want. There could be a situation where there is um, another situation involved. Another somebody possibly here. And it's like they're trying to keep things calm. Hmm. Queen of Cups. They're trying to keep things calm. They're trying to keep things on an even keel. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I feel like somebody here has other irons in the fire. And I feel like the Two of Pentacles is here. I feel like this person is juggling. Could be a Capricorn energy here as well. But I feel like this juggling, whether it's it's um, a job or another person, it's like some other life circumstance that they're dealing with besides a connection with you guys. And they're like really trying to keep things 
on an even keel so things won't just get out of balance here. Want to keep everybody happy. <clears throat> then we have a five of swords. Huh. They're really struggling within themselves to, to keep things straight. Um, and not, I, I feel like this person too is, um, is someone that does not like to show everything. They don't want to just show everything that's in their hand. And they, they keep themselves at this certain level. Like they don't want to make somebody feel like they are all in. They don't want to make somebody else feel like they're all in. That way, you know, nothing spectabulous is expected of them. If they keep the situation like, you know, right here at this level. And so I feel like, you know, they do just enough. This person does just enough. I feel Aquarius energy. They want to keep everybody happy, every situation, like, just mellow. <clears throat> then you have the Seven of Wands. Again, Leo energy here. I feel like this person does not like to be alone. Um... And, but the, at the same time, they try to protect themselves. So I feel like this person kind of blows hot and cold. They blow hot and cold. Because they're really, they really do care for you. And they probably tell you or have told you, look, I do. I love you. I care for you. But at the same time, there's there's some other circumstance that they are giving to as well. Again, be it like a job, um, another uh, family, like children or something. There's some other situation I feel like they're giving to. And they're really not trying to give too much in one or the other situation. This person's not trying to rock the boat. Okay. Strong Leo Cancer um, energy here. We also have Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio. What does this person really want with Libra? What do they really want with Libra? Queen of Wands. I feel like they want to be there for you. Um, I feel like they're attracted to you. They want you to be there for them. But I do feel like, you know, they want a little more excitement. Whoever this person is, they want more excitement. They want more feminine energy. They want more risk taking. They want more risk taking. They want, um, you know, for somebody just to put all their, their faith and trust in what it is that they're doing. Even though I feel like their time, their attention is divided here. I do feel like they lean more towards you guys. They they want you to like um, they want you to show them more attention than what they're actually showing you. They want you to have faith in them and what they're telling you and what they're doing, and not be so focused on like. Um, how you're viewing them emotionally, whatever that means. Aries energy is here. A lot of fire energy. They want action. Nine of Wands. They want to know that uh, you're going to continue with them. That you're not giving up on them is what they want. They don't want you guys to give up on them. They want you to step out on faith and have faith in them. They want you to show them that you want to be there for them fully.
And then we have a Nine of Swords here. They are really confused about um, how to handle this situation, how to behave towards you guys, you know, how much emotion to give to you, what to do about you guys in this situation, because I'm getting that this person really deep down inside knows that they need to do something, make some kind of solid um, decision on an emotional level and on a physical level, like, you know, just kind of figure out what their priorities really are is what I'm getting here. Gemini energy, they're really, really, I feel like this person really cares for you, um, but they don't know if they can make a choice between you and another situation is what I'm getting here, okay? All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and um, I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.